Suburban Sentinel here outside the old homestead with Wendell and Waldo. And I did see Wilma around here too. There's Wilma, our female in residence. I got all the W's out here today. There's my last W too, Wiley. He's I and Wilma, not exactly sure who that is. Anyway, it's getting to be that time of year, and by that time of the year, I mean hurricane season. This is New England, and we certainly don't get hurricanes like the Gulf Coast states, or the Carolinas, or Georgia. But, as we saw last year, we can get them. And when we get them, they can be rough, especially when we have these gigantic trees around here. So once a year, I'll take a good long walk around the property and check out the trees and bring any concerns I have to the attention of our arborist who comes in for his own inspection. One major concern that most people around here have is that the trees get so tall, if one of them comes over, it might fall on the house and injure or kill somebody. So you see a lot of people running around measuring the height of their trees. Personally, I won't measure the height of my trees because ultimately I really don't care how tall they are. All I really care about is that they're not tall enough to hit the house. And there's an easy way to figure that out without going through all the trigonometry and finding the angles or buying an inclinometer and aren't any of that craziness. So I learned this little trick years ago, and I'll share it with you in case you haven't heard about it. The only piece of equipment you'll need to pull this off is an ordinary yardstick like we have here. Step one, take your ordinary yardstick and measure the distance between your naked eye and the end of your fist. So to demonstrate, put the yardstick close to your eye. Don't poke yourself in the eye with your yardstick. And just stretch your fist out straight from your eye. And by my calculations, that should be around 27 inches in this case. Step two, grab the yardstick at the measurement you just took from your eye to your end of your fist. In my case, 27 inches. So you see I have the top of my fist on the 27 inch mark. And you're gonna hold the yardstick upright so that the zero is pointing up in the air. Step number three, go over and stand directly between the tree in question and your house, or at least the closest distance between the two. Then, while still holding your yardstick at the appropriate measurement, aim your fist at the very bottom of the tree. I hope this is coming out on camera. This is really hard to do. Right, so you have your fist aimed at the bottom of the tree with the trunk of the tree parallel to the yardstick. Hold your fist targeted at the base of the tree and begin to walk backwards towards the house. Now this is going to be impossible to see on camera with this tree, but essentially what will happen is if the tip of the yardstick, or the very top of it, meets the top of the tree before you get to the house, the house will be safe. And what I'm going to try to do is demonstrate this with something that's much easier to see on camera. So bear with me here. Okay, I'm back. On the screen we have a standard utility pole. This is a 40-foot pole sunk six feet in the ground as per the spec. Nothing fancy, nothing magic. So we have 34 foot of pole above ground. 
and I'm going to walk over to this pole and we're going to use this for demo purposes because it's going to be much easier to see. Okay, on the screen here I have my little measuring wheel and I'm going to run this out in as straight a line as practicable, 35 feet. Oh, I wish I put my glasses on. Okay, that's about 35 feet, and I'm going to mark it with this little piece of lumber here to simulate the wall of the house. Okay, I'm back. We now have our telephone pole stunt doubling for a tree. I am holding the yardstick at 27 inches. Now I'm aiming my fist right to the base of the telephone pole. This is really hard to do. And now I'm going to start walking backwards. I'm going to walk backwards until, hopefully you can see this on camera. I'm going to turn this sideways, may make it a little easier to see. Until the top of the yardstick reaches the top of the telephone pole. Fist pointed at the base of the pole. Top of the yardstick even at the top of the pole and now I'm gonna mark it right there mark that spot with my little measuring wheel so now we have two markers we have this 2 by 4 representing the wall of the house and if you recall we put this out at 35 feet from the utility pole and we have the measuring wheel as a marker and remember, according to this little plan we have here, this represents the height of the pole. Remember that the pole is 34 feet above ground. So in theory, there should be about a one foot difference between this marker and this marker. And I used about the middle of the board. And it comes out to about 12 and a half inches. So that's pretty good, I think. So based on this example, having a wall 35 feet from this pole or from this tree would be safe. This method works irrespective of the height of the tree or the distances involved. You just want to give yourself a little margin of error because of inaccuracies in measuring So there you have it, a quick and easy way of determining whether the structures on your property are safe from falling trees and killer chipmunks. That concludes our little tree tutorial and I'm going to get on with our little forest inspection here. And there's Wiley, he's checking out the turkeys. This is the Suburban Sentinel, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you like what you see. Questions and enlightening comments are always welcome. Be safe, everybody. Say goodbye, Y. You're very handsome. <laughs>